All right, what's up guys, it's Brian. Today we're gonna to be doing a shop install. I'm gonna make this 10 by 10 locker, I'm going to turn it into a little shop of ours. Look at all this extra space, man. All this space up top. What are we gonna do with it? A lot of you guys are in the uh, exact same kind of growing pains as I just did on my last mowing vlog about storage and storage solutions and all this other mess. If you guys don't know, I rent my little uh, 10 by 10 storage locker right where my trailer is normally parked, which I got some uh, power washing going on and cleaning for that today. But anyway, I'm gonna do a fun uh, shop build out. We're gonna put some racks together, some uh, we're gonna make some shelving, and hopefully just um, make my life a little bit easier with my business. I'm in this awkward kind of middle ground where we're not building or buying a house just yet, but I have stuff in like five different locations and it just kind of gets frustrating, right? So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this vlog. If so, shoot a big thumbs up. But guys, let's jump inside. Let's go build some shelving units and let's have a nice, fun shop vlog today. How about that? <laughs> All right, so what's up guys? We're gonna go head down to the Home Depot, get some wood and frame this whole thing out. I'm gonna keep it really simple, man, with uh, the design. I'll actually show you some little stats I drew up, uh, my little diagram, it's what I do on a little piece of paper, but I don't know, man, I'd love to know if you guys uh, uh, have ever been in the same situation where you're in this like awkward middle phase. Actually, I talked about growing pains in the last uh, mowing vlog here just a few days ago, and a lot of you guys weighed in with, you know, trying to uh, keep your equipment at three different places, and outside of that, you have an enclosed trailer, and then some of you guys have storage rooms and storage lockers and the garage type storage lockers and then um, you know the evolution is sometimes a shop or like a yard or a commercial building you know it's just one of those things where uh, a couple of you guys left really good comments like hey why don't you buy a house with a pole barn and that's the goal man of course uh, Liz and I have been putting some money in the bank the last uh, year or so last six months for sure and it feels really good to start saving up to put a down payment on a chunk of a house that we want to build but I'll tell you guys straight up man now, every area is different and in Metro Detroit, it just is a really top heavy market. Everything is really expensive. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, like 450,000 bucks gets you like a three, two, on like a quarter acre right now. Like it's pretty atrocious. Um, so I'm all for the economy doing good, man. Things are great, but um, everything's expensive. And where we live, everybody's um, got some flow right now. So you're always trying to compete against everybody else buying the same property and land. And you know, just real life, man. It is what it is. You know, you make the best out of it. So Liz and I are gonna probably uh, put some money in the bank, maybe for another uh, 12 to 18 months. Uh, we'll put, a good chunk in the bank with uh, with how things have been going lately and uh, when we're ready to build we'll build with a, a nice house and a pole barn and it'll be really cool man so um, it is a little frustrating but you know what it's growing pains nothing too much that you can really do but if you guys are in that same boat man I always say we're all in this together and you know I, I'm right there with you guys too if you're trying to you know I got stuff at my mom stuff at my shed stuff at my, in my trailer you know uh, my mom's spare bedroom our apartment and it's just tough because sometimes you need a drill, it's over here. In fact, I just had to literally go to Home Depot this morning and buy a tape measure to measure the tape, to measure the tape, to uh, measure all the uh, specs for the storage unit. Why? Because my tape measure, I left it at my mom's shed when I was cleaning out and redoing their shelves. So it is a little frustrating, but you know, it is what it is. So if any of you guys are in that same boat, man, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever been where I'm at. And also if you did the breakthrough, if you guys broke through and now you're living the dream and you got a cool, uh, garage or shed or she shed or whatever you guys got going on right so anyway we're gonna be pulling up to home depot here i'll take you guys inside let's get some wood and uh, hopefully not let this day bleed out too long the first time ever there's no cars parked in the contractor spot over at home depot all right let's do this Now let's go inside, let's go spend some money. All right, before we zip in, here is my beautiful diagram, right? So here's the entrance of the locker, we got the two side walls, and here's the back. And really simply, guys, I got 117 inches to work with. I'm just gonna make two sections, one section, another section. So this will be maybe a five foot long table, maybe a four and a half foot long table, 117 inches, so I need a two by 54 inch ply. I need a two by, what is that, maybe five feet ply. We're gonna get uh, eight four by four posts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then two inch wood screws. Really simple stuff, man. Um, it's just two big tables I'm gonna do, and then on top I'm gonna put like the accelerator bagger, uh, the uh, impeller for the vacuum system, for the UltraVac, and then just lubes and oils and other stuff on this side. And the reason this is gonna be like a six foot versus and a five foot is because this lane will be for the aerator and the uh, stand on Starus, and then this side will be for the Xmark Laser Z. So that's why it's gonna be a little offset. And then the idea is to maybe put the UltraVac underneath. All right, that's my theory. We'll see how it goes. Let's go build this thing out. Let's go grab some wood, and hopefully I prove myself right and not wrong. All right, guys, so we have the three quarter inch ply, 55 bucks, I'm at the depot. I'm in here with a GoPro, probably freaking a bunch of people out. <laughs> so this is real life. These guys are awesome here, man. So we'll use this, we'll get some sheets cut up. They'll do it right here for us. And we're gonna get four by four posts and they can use the miter on it to clean it all up. By the way, one thing that I'll tell you guys, if you ever wanna make shelves really easily, there's always uh, two by four cut wood that you guys can buy for the sheet. Really simple stuff, not have a lot of excess. You got three quarter, you got quarter. Uh, well, that might be half, uh, three quarter, yep. And then half, and then you got your quarter. Stuff is really easy. This is a lot of the stuff that we use for Liz's uh, Etsy business or handmade business. So this is a really good spot to shop from. Quick grab, just in case you guys are ever building shelves. This is what I use a lot, but with this being 117 inches, I just figured I'd get a plywood sheet and then I could use the extra to make additional little shelves if I need it. All right, so what do you guys think about this? I think we're gonna go with the three quarter inch stuff. Nice and thick, 55 bucks a sheet. Eh, a little expensive, but what are you gonna do? All right, I think I'm gonna go with the two inch Deckmate screws, the yellow ones. It's got the little bit that comes with it, as you guys can see. So two inches here, one inch into the one inch into here, another two or so inches, no, inch and a half into that. Should be fine, so. Dude, this is a three inch. Hmm, where are we at? Three inch, I don't know if I wanna buy that. So I think we're gonna go with the two. All right, there's no two and a half. Oh well. All right, so what up fam? Actually just got off the phone with my boy, uh, Dirty Jersey, Mike G. What up, Mike G? Mike and I had a quick phone call back and forth, just wanted to catch up. And people are like, do you ever call fans? Yes, I call fans, yes, I talk to you guys. Anyway, uh, let's keep this thing moving. You guys don't care that I was talking to Mike G, but I like to talk and ramble, so. <laughs> anyway, man, it just feels good. It's 93 degrees out right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm just pouring sweat, but you know what? Man, praise Jesus, it's just a great day, just a sunny day, just a gorgeous time to be alive, man. Hopefully you guys appreciate the positivity vibes, right? Anyway, sorry for the shades in every video, but man, I got just the light sensitivity after doing this for a decade, so I always gotta keep them on, but let me open up the locker. Let's build the shelves. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's build the outside shelf and get this thing going, man. Man, I'll tell you guys straight up, I have not done this many things all at once, just with moving and planning things. And guys, uh, there's a whole nother thing that's coming in about two weeks. I'm gonna make an announcement the first week of August. That is gonna be one of the most epic things that I have ever done, I've ever said. I've never even talked about it in the video. I'll tell you guys straight up, I got about 30 to 40 hours already invested into something that's coming later this fall. And you guys are gonna wanna be around to check it out. Somebody's over there, so they wanna know. All right, so low key, any guesses? Leave me a comment down below. It's coming in November, November. Remember November 9th. That's all I'm saying, all right? Stay tuned, two weeks, we'll talk about it. Let's go get the wood really quick, wrap this up. Oh, and by the way, we got the trailer washed. I don't know if you guys saw this, but we got the trailer washed back. My guy couldn't do anything about the scuffs, man. I feel bad. But anyway, he cleaned this all up. He polished it with the wheel. This is like as smooth as you could ever imagine. Look how shiny that is. Brand new, like show, showroom floor good. He's gonna wrap up the other three sides for me in the next few weeks, maybe in the fall, cause uh, it's gonna take a lot of time, but trailer looks clean. I usually get it washed for about 60 bucks because he buffed out the front and some of the other stuff up here is about $100. But look at the shine on the wheels. Mm, looking good. All right, where were we? All right, I've got our wood. Let's do this. All right, so each one of these I'm gonna take, let's see what we can do here. All right, almost that one right there. 
stay. That's how you twist an ankle, right? All right, let's do this really quick. So we got the Milwaukee drill, hashtag product placement. Just kidding. that's funny right there. All right, so let's put the tabletops on. This is uh, not complicated stuff. Let me just show you guys what we're working with. Here, this will be the 54 inch table, if I'm not mistaken. This will be the 63 inch long table. And only two feet deep. I'm kind of curious if I should have went maybe three feet deep, because that doesn't look very, uh, like a lot of room, but I think it'll be fine. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy here, so that's just kind of what I was thinking. But anyway, let's screw these down really quick. Oh, turn that off, and we're good to go. We got the, the yellow deckmate screws, two inches, nothing super fancy, and we're rocking away with it. screws looking good not too shabby a little wobbly but that's just because it's such a tall table we'll do some cross bracing here I'm not bolting it to the floor at least I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm allowed to drill through that concrete so somebody leave me a comment down below let me know because you know you guys are the official people that tell me what I can do in my storage unit not the storage unit people right <laughs> so just having fun all right so let's uh, do this um, eventually I might uh, underneath Probably take a two by four, connect them, just so there's a little bit more rigidity, uh, cross bracing. Uh, let's put this guy up on top over here, and that'll wrap up this first half of this build out. All right, fam, so you guys can see we are all done here. It's looking pretty fresh. I'm very excited about it. We're gonna cut it right here, and when we come back tomorrow, we'll put all the rest of the stuff in there when I go visit my mom's and get it out of her place, because Lord knows that she can't stand me having all my crap uh, in her storage shed. All right, guys, let's check out tomorrow. We'll continue this vlog right here, right? All right, what up guys? Hey, we're back here. Quick little transition. It's day number two for the build out of the garage, the shop, the shed, whatever you want to call it here. Actually, I got to show you guys some stuff. I just came back from Home Depot. Oh, look at all the wood. By the way, I should have put a red flag. Always put a red flag. All right, but check this all out. Another round of wood. These guys actually made a crap ton of cuts for me. There's like a 20 year old kid up there. And uh, he was like, I got about 20 minutes until I'm out of here, man. What can I do for you to keep me out of trouble? I said, let's go cut some wood and do the whole deal. So um, I got a bunch of stuff over here that I brought uh, just this morning when I was cutting some grass for just a little bit. Uh, let me show you guys inside the shed and we'll kind of speed this up a little bit so we aren't here all day, but let me show you guys inside. All right, so here's where we're at so far, guys. Uh, like I said, this morning I had to go to my mom's and stop there with the trailer so I could bring the UltraVac bagger system. So here's where I'm at so far. Now, uh, up here I got my two snow blowers. I've got my impeller auger for the uh, blower, for the vacuum, and then my accelerator bagger. Now, I am going to build basically the same exact shelves right here another stack higher so the goal is to make a whole other shelf up there and then keep totes up on top that i have actually in the locker next door and that's for the house so everything in the next unit is going back to the house and then we will be putting a bunch of totes up there and then rest this up in the garage again i'm trying to figure this all out as i throw it all in here but the goal is to reinforce this whole bottom spot uh thank you for all of you guys that were uh, giving me shout outs on instagram back and forth and just uh dming me and giving me some encouragement to uh, make this a little bit stronger guys i always say follow me on instagram if you want it real time which is really cool because instagram is a lot quicker than editing youtube videos right um so anyway we're gonna cross uh brace all this strengthen it up i got a ton of wood let's get to work get ready for the clack all right check that out 
All right, guys, so we're about an hour later just putting things together and strengthening it all up. It's hard to move the camera and capture all this footage, but let me just show you guys what we have been doing. So down here, I got a bunch of two by fours that are 24 inches long, as you guys can see. So we're cross bracing it this way. And then we have 30 inch pieces as we go down. We did that on both sides, all the way in the corner as well, as you guys can see, which I had to crawl over there. That was a pain in the butt. I'm definitely sweating right now. It's like 95 degrees in the storage locker. And then uh, underneath, to give it some more uh, rigidity on the uh, table, we have uh, 117 inches going all the way down on two by fours. Had to reinforce it with little uh, two by four blocks. So we screwed into here, this into this. So that should hold uh, just a bunch of extra cross beams here. And then I made a little lip. That way it kind of has like a nicer clean finish as we look at it from afar back. All right, guys, we got all the different pegs up there. Let's put the tabletop up there. Guys, check it out. All right, a little fast forward action here. It's about 20 more minutes later. Dude, it's looking sharp, man. Let me jump up here. I've been jumping up on top of the uh, aerator. It's like a little monkey. Be careful, don't do this at home. But look at this. I'm so excited. We have so much more room. Oh my God, it's gonna be in one place. Yes. So anyway, uh, we got bracing that I still gotta do a little bit of, but it's only gonna be totes up here, nothing super heavy. So. Uh, really excited about that Woo, looks good I might just do some cross bracing really quick but again this whole top part shouldn't really shift so I'm really really pumped man I feel so good about this I'm dripping sweat it's still 90 degrees out but it just feels good to have everything in one spot all right guys so we're gonna wrap this one up I feel really good about this less than 250 bucks to put this whole thing together with all the wood uh, all the different stuff that went into it the screws the man probably seven trips back and forth to Home Depot a little bit uh, tired after the end of this video as you guys can imagine so hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of style of vlog a little bit something different uh, I just feel good to have a place to store all my equipment man if any of you guys have ever been there done that and you got the same kind of growing pains let me know uh, it's just been a long time in the making I shouldn't have probably waited this long to make a storage unit uh, kind of shop but all my shelving is together, we got everything inside, and then I just gotta put some storage units up on top, some storage totes from the house. So the zero turn does fit in there, so we're pretty much all good to go. All right guys, over and out, we'll see ya.